Man Full, the cocktail and cookery show with me, Lisa Porter Dixon. And me, Dominic Franks. We are doing things a little bit the wrong way around today. If you're a fan of the show, you'll know usually I do a cocktail and then you do the cooking. But today, it's starting with you, aren't we? We are, and it's really weird because I'm actually starting with a kind of dessert. Although it's not really a dessert. It kind of is. Biscotti! <laughs> Biscotti. Mm. And the, the reason we're doing a biscotti... Oh yeah, this is very true. ...is because I'm doing a kind of cocktail, but not really. It's an affogato, which is such a delicious, easy to make My dessert. My absolute favourite. That goes perfect with a biscotti. So let's get stuck in and make them. Okay, so to go with your wonderful Italian affogato, yeah. I'm making an Italian biscotti, which is kind of like, you know that sort of um, little half moon shaped biscuit? Yeah. A really hard one that goes with coffee. They serve it with a coffee, don't they, honestly? They and do. also, is this the first time we've done sort of baking on Mouthful? Oh my God, maybe it is. I think it is. Oh Could God, be a disaster. It's gonna be a disaster. So what you got? Right, in this bowl, I have Plain flour, obviously gluten-free flour. Yes, thank you. And I have some baking powder and also gluten-free baking powder. Yep. Uh, ground almonds, sugar, a little pinch of salt. And that's golden caster sugar, it is, is it? golden caster sugar. And as always, all of the quantities will be below underneath. And I'm just going to use my hand. Okay, do it. it's the best instrument in the world. <laughs> I think guitarists would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing to go in is almonds. Just like that? Just like that. Some of them are chopped. Yeah. Some of them are whole, so you get kind of a bit of texture. Ooh. You can put in whatever you want. And then I'm also going to put in some uh, orange zest. Lovely. Using our trusted... <laughs> Do you know, for Christmas, I'm going to buy you a proper decent grater. Can I just say, right, I hear Dom complain a lot. I just heard him earlier complain when I was upstairs about stuff in my kitchen. One day we'll go and film in Dom's kitchen, and let me tell you, he does not have all the gear. Or any idea. That looks Lovely, that? amazing already. And then to bind it all together, we're going to have an egg. <gasps> Should we do a one-handed egg each? Shall we? Are we okay. doing it in here? Do you have to yeah. mix it? Okay, hold on, ready, go. Chris, you better have freaking got that, because that was the, the, the year of mouthful combined into one bowl of eggs. We did it! We did it! <laughs> So we need as much liquid as it's going to take to bind it all together. So that might not be everything. So I'm going to put like, maybe like three quarters in, just like that. Yeah. And again, using the best instrument in the world, we're just going to bind it all together. So no spices or anything in here? No, nothing. I mean, you could put in whatever you want, Like really. cinnamon or something? Yeah, I mean, I've gone for orange instead. Orange yeah. and almonds, nice combination. It's going to go very well with your um, gorgeous... Affogato. Affogato. I mean, it's a mess, and that's what you want, right? Yeah, that's what baking is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Does this count as baking? Yeah, we're going to bake it in the oven. Of course it's baking. Okay, just checking. God, I really shouted that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you're so aggressive sometimes. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Lovely. Is that enough? It's gorgeous. God, that was a great sprinkling Yeah, it was a me. really good Thank sprinkling. You. Gosh, you want surprise for everything. I do. Actually, why haven't you just got me, like, I don't know, a medal for that? Okay. <laughs> So you want to roll it into a log. Oh, that looks like a giant slug. <laughs> right, you're going to move this and I'm going to move, and you're going to move that. You're going to go slide them both along while I lift that up. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> that is what you told me to do. Okay. Wow, the slug has moved the to slug a tray. The slug has moved. Tray. And then we're just going to pat it down a little bit. Yep. And then we're going to plung it in the oven for 30 minutes. And that's it? That's it. Well, it gets two bakes, but I'll show you the rest in a minute. Okay. Okay, this has been cooling for about 10 minutes now. We're just going to cut it into <laughs> the Ooh. biscotti shape that we all know and love. And then these go back into the oven for five minutes. Okay, these are out of the oven and mm. um, they just need to cool down. And uh, whilst they cool down... I'm going to make my affogato. We're doing things, like I say, a bit different today. So rather than have a mouthful of these now, we're going to make the affogato because the combination of these two things is so glorious that you've got to eat them together. Okay, over to the coffee machine. 
The main thing about a good affogato is great coffee, and the Italians, I'm sure, would say the same. So we are obsessed with our coffee machine. This is a sage one. Theo gets a weekly subscription of coffee from all over the world. Don't ask me what it is, but it always tastes good. So I'm literally just gonna make two shots of double espresso. We've already mentioned that this is a simple dessert, but the key with simple desserts is great ingredients. Oh. Guys, this freaking ice cream, it's from Venci, which is an Italian ice cream maker and that you can now get in the UK. Um, you, may, you may also notice that it's not just vanilla, which is what you need for avocado. I got a couple of scoops of their I chocolate I love that you can get it in the same Yeah, container. I think you can get up to three different oh. ones. I mean, this is such a treat because it's freaking expensive, but it lasts ages, ages. You'll also note that, that I'm only making two affogato, so as to share so that I've got ice cream left over. I feel like that's fair. No, that's that fair. It's fair, it's fair. fair. Okay, now, another thing that can be served with this as well is some Di Serrano, some amaretto. Oh, I love amaretto. And do you know what, this biscotti, it's amazing, just dipped yeah. in that, all the Vinsanta yeah. wine. So I was gonna pour it over the ice. Now, I know you like to pour your amaretto in with your affogato, but I'm gonna do it like this because I just think to have a little bit, just a little sip of it, it's that sweetness of it mixed with the, yeah. the biscuit with the orange, it's delicious. And it doesn't tarnish the very, very expensive ice cream. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I've got some ice cream bowls. You can serve this in a lot of the time in traditional, if you go somewhere, well, if you go somewhere like Carluccio's, they'll serve it in like a tall glass yeah. with three scoops and you pour your coffee yeah. over the top. So I'm just gonna scoop this out. I'm gonna move those there. So rather than using an ice cream scoop, I'm using, well, just a wooden old spatula because I just really wanna scrape this up like this and then get it into your bowls. It doesn't need to be neat. That's the key. It doesn't have to be neat. You probably want this to be a little bit softer, but <laughs> give me a workout, why not? Perfect. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I know how good this ice cream is. Right, okay guys, we're now going to, I'm gonna give you your amarettos. I'm gonna put these here and we're gonna pour the coffee over the top of the beautiful ice cream, okay? Chris, are you ready? Because you've got one shot of this. I'm ready. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here is a beautiful, beautiful coffee going over the top. Okay, and then, obviously, Dom's biscotti. We're just gonna put a couple of these in. I mean, just literally. Come on. <gasps> they look beautiful. Come and have a mouthful of this, baby. Right, I'm just put spoons in, let's just go for it. Guys, what I would actually suggest that you try, do you want me to demo first? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> Let me just do a little demo for you. Is I personally would soak this into the amaretto, then do a big old dip. Okay, come on, get stuck in. I'm gonna do a different version. I'm gonna pour oh this amaretto on here like this. Mmm. Oh. That is so good. Oh God. Guys, you have to try this. Oh my God. Oh. We have to end the show, but I can't really, I need one more mouthful of this, hold on. How about guys? <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, mm. we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.